Hi Libra, welcome to your reading. A very happy solar return and a happy birthday to all the Libra sun. This is a very unique season for you. Every year sun resets, but this year you had sun mercury mars all three of them reset and mars got reset this year for the first time since 2006 this is when the drive for standing up for ourselves returns back in some senses and we tend to find our voice or the reset in relationships in terms of the equation and balance between the relationships are reset and the next one and a half years as you would have eclipses in your house or proceeds of partnership, there will be further fated changes which will come through partnerships and relationships in your life and that is a thread that is going to run all the way till 2023 also because we have Pluto the last two years of Pluto in your house of home, family and place of living. So there is a continued thread of restructuring and change in your emotional houses in your home family structure of the family as well as the place of living that is happening as a background to it all we'll discuss both the short term trends which is your season as well as the full moon that is happening in your house of partnerships on 20th of october we'll also talk about the long term thread of restructuring in your home family emotional foundations and place of living that is happening through Pluto transit all the way till 2023 and we'll also talk about Jupiter and Saturn finally going direct in your house of risk taking opening up avenues of self-expression as well as some amount of investment risk which you might be on the verge of taking my name is Charu I'm your host on this journey let's dig in Libra sun is shining in your sign till 23rd of October and we would have Mercury the planet of thinking and mind and conversations in your sign till 5th of November. With all of these planets focused on you, this is the time to put yourself first. There might be a shift when it comes to your life role, when it comes to your life path, or there might be a new beginning in a phase of your life that may, that might be in process, especially because Mars, the planet of action and desires, is going for a reset in your sign for the first time since 2006, which means that how we stand up for ourselves, how we put our interests first or not, that is going through a rebirth this month. And you'll find that a new equation is set for the next 15 years, especially in your joint situations, in your relationships, on how you assert yourself or not. This is a reset which is happening for the first time since 2006. So if there was a relationship pattern or a pattern of life path that was set in 2006, you'll find that there is a rebirth of that pattern and how you go after your desires and how you find your voice is going through a rebirth this month. You will be pushed in some ways to stand up for yourself as well as to find what you're made of through some amount of pressure and push. And this is happening as Mercury, the planet of thinking and communication, is going through a reset in your sign. When Mercury Mercury goes retrograde in our sign, it is a time of review how we want to project ourselves to the others in our life. We normally remove what blocks our full expression, the full expression of our uniqueness to others during this time. And this is a rare transit. Mercury last went retrograde in your sign only back in 2015. So there might be some growth lessons possibly from 2015, which are now being carried forward to the current moment, or there might be some chapters which were initiated in 2015 which are coming for closure and release because those patterns are in some way slowing you down or not letting you have more personal impact that you desire in your work in your life path and you're tightening up to tightening up certain solutions to an old problem possibly which was also seen in 2015. This is a time when we renew our life path in some ways review if that is the uh, that is the direction we want to pursue going forward. We reframe our life in some ways in a season when Mercury and Mars both are retrograde in a sign, which is a rare transit. Last time these both planets came together for a rebirth together was during the World War II. So it's a very rare transit. It's a lifetime transit that you're undergoing when we revamp both our drive as well as our talk and reaffirm who we are to the others, to the significant others in our life. It's a time when our external image goes through a dramatic shift 
but because mercury is retrograde till about 18th of october the external release of this new version of you might be delayed a little bit as there are things that you need to reconsider and it's better to go live with something especially after 18th of october your your new moon which normally becomes the time when we launch something new especially if the new moon is happening around our degrees so for you the new moon happened around 6th and 7th of october so if your birthday was around 6th or 7th of october then you'll find that the next one year is of dramatic changes in your life and even a few days before two or three days before and after 6th and 7th of october would definitely experience that in a very very dramatic way this is around 13 degree of libra so if you have your rising sun or moon around 13 to 16 degree of libra you'll find that the next one year is a period of a complete rebirth for all of you like any other annual reset gives you a chance to start again and with this retrograde this pullback period that we are in the middle of we are looking at if we need to express ourselves in a different way for more personal impact to others and that includes the way we look it includes the way we talk it includes the life path we have chosen for ourselves appearance is in good order are we feeling pleased with the life path we are on are we feeling pleased in our body physically are we happy with the with the body and your life role what is the role you play in your relationships and partnerships because this is your critical axis that is getting activated right now so the changes that you're on the threshold of making which is normally the case whenever we have a pullback a retrograde we're normally on a threshold of taking an important critical decision so you might be on the verge of taking a critical decision related to your personal life or your life path you've taken a little bit of breather before you can fully go forward with it to realize the full potential you have and libra for you you realize your full potential through merging your resources merging your talents merges merging your viewpoints and bringing people together in some ways but if your uniqueness has got compromised or your impact has got compromised in trying to collaborate with people right now you would be reviewing that very thoroughly and that is also happening because we'll start having eclipses starting from 19th of november in your house of proceeds of partnership so the road to success over the course of next one and a half years will change to us collaborating with people and bringing people together in some ways and gaining by combining both financially as well as emotionally more deeper with a business partner or a personal partner the beauty in the death and rebirth that you're going to experience both physical transformation that you'll go through over the course of next one and a half years because when we have eclipses in this house we go through some fated rebirth and it happens through not just financially but also physically a physical transformation normally takes place and you last experienced that in 2003 2004 if you're old enough to see that that what is coming for you through eclipses over 2002 and 2000 uh, sorry 2022 and 2023 is similar to what possibly came through faded changes in 2003 and 2004 now everything is not the same but we're proceeding towards that kind of life growth for you where the balance of proceed of relationships would be achieved we'll merge more deeper with our partners as well as in some ways we might find a deeper cleanse of our body and of our psyche from anything that blocks your power and you'll find that you are on the threshold of that and as you enter that phase as you're going towards that phase you're first finding your own uniqueness your own voice before you merge with the others and this whole pullback in some ways is a process to get there and you'll find that till 23rd of october till sun is in your sign you will be driven to find how to be more impactful in discussions, in decisions, in relationships. And what is the satisfaction you have individually in a relationship, whether the partnership or the spouse or the business partnership? What is your level of returns? What is your level of individual standing in that 
a relationship you'll be reevaluating right now and this is the time when a lot of success can be achieved by actively reworking our external way of showing up to others this is a review process that you might have already been in the process of now we are sort of in the process of going live with this new version of you which you are at the threshold of it's okay if the mistakes have been made in the past in terms of slipping up on the words because it happens during this time there are a lot of frustrations of negotiations discussions sometimes related to documentations etc that happened during this time but they're trying to teach you how to be more impactful in your self expression as well as you are required to hear your own desires beyond surface so that that could be a reason for a little bit of pullback you might have experienced as well as some power struggles that might have come up in the last couple of period because you're being woken up to your own inner potential your own inner strength and core to stand up for yourself because this is the time when the attention is on how others see you it is not superficial it's about how we impact the others by our self projection through our inner projection because how we impact others is a lot driven by how we believe and feel about ourselves who we are and how other people in some ways receive you is driven by how we view ourselves so when a retrograde is happening which you are in the middle of right now we are looking at how we view ourselves and in some ways a inner review might be in process and issues related to our own personal identity appearance outward behavior self expression they might be getting reworked at this time we are looking to be more assertive make an impression your influence might be at the threshold of changing when it comes to your life path you might be at the threshold of making a big change over there and when that happens some of the past patterns need to be left behind and that will become very evident to you in my view through possibly a conflict which could come on 17th and 22nd of october in fact the second half of october could be where you are driven to now show this new version of you because it's the time to reinvent yourself in new ways whether it is a new look new manner of expression new physical or outer appearance or a new habit emotional habit especially which is being reborn and you're moving forward mars is still in your sign till end of this month you have a lot of energy to go after your goals enthusiastically and make an impression as mercury goes direct after 18th of october it's go time it's the time to put your best foot forward doing things with full confidence believing in who you are becoming because you've in some ways found an authentic way of expressing yourself and sharing and revealing more of you not hiding back anymore being bold being brave enjoying this new experience of the new you that is being launched so as to speak getting a haircut getting a makeover reinventing yourself physically how you come across changing that meeting new people having new experiences and not shying away this is also the time when jupiter and saturn will go direct in your house of risk taking it's the time to take certain risks in your life and especially i'll speak about it in a bit it it is very much possible that you might be on a threshold of taking an investment risk venus your ruler will go retrograde in december if there is a investment decision that is being made right now which you are in possibly in my view looking at the transit it looks like you might be in the process of making an investment decision or a money related decision normally there and it could be related to home or real estate because venus will go retrograde which is your ruler will go retrograde in the month of december related to something on home and family so there could be an investment or some sort of restructuring which is happening in home and family which could be a partnership which is uh, you know it could be that you're buying a joint property or going in together an investment with a family member or just how you want the family structure to be that might be going through some amount of review that review will come to a head in december so what i was trying to say is that before that it's better to do as much as possible you cannot not learn the lessons that venus retrograde is meant to teach you which is to love yourself a little bit more with more conviction to stand up for yourself a little bit more in your partnerships but 
yes uh, related to investments as much as possible the actual documentation and the work which requires you to be precise it's better that you do that before mid of december which anyways you know how it is normally these retrogrades as i've said before they usually happen in holiday season to make it more fun with family i guess but uh, <laughs> to to add a little bit of more misunderstanding with family but yeah venus when it will go retrograde in your house of home and family there would be something deeper we'll have to see and last your ruler went retrograde in this house back in december of 2013 and january of 2014 but we did not have pluto at that time making an aspect wherever pluto is there is some amount of rebirth so there could be a rebirth of a pattern or a structure of your family or place of living or what you call or who you call as home in process which will come about in december as a precursor to that there might be certain things that need to be set up to get there which you might be in the process of doing and your self expression and your ability to find your voice in a partnership could be something that is one of them and you'll find yourself challenged in the coming days around 17th of october and 22nd of october when there could be a conflict that comes to life where your individuality needs to be shown or you need to in some way stand up for yourself which you have not done before this is you releasing detoxing your own old skin when this conflict happens it's like shedding old skin and it can happen through a little bit of force especially if your planet's around 24 degree of libra which is around 17th of october born so 17th of october born 2 days before 2 days after or 24 degree of libra 2 degrees before and after would find that this period the whole of second half of october the period all the way till 1st of november the time when you're giving birth to a new unique personality and that is happening on the background of some major restructuring or change or some bold step you're taking which relates to restructuring your home family place of living it is possible that you might be changing the power dynamic at home might be changing or you might be actually changing the place of living and as i said you're changing who and what you call as home which includes what we derive security from so if there were patterns that used to define us before these are the patterns which were created long before a family how a family is supposed to be and how much self expression we are allowed to have in a partnership how much are we entitled in some ways in a partnership that might go through a dramatic change with these aspects and you'll be challenged in my view this can create a lot of focus a lot of um, tenacity to go through something difficult when it comes to a tough discussion either oh, because you're taking a very bold call when it comes to property or a bold call related to home family structure or a bold call which is out of your comfort zone when it comes to your life path as i said you're going for a new phase in your life path with your new moon and this reset which has happened in mercury and mars but but, but that requires you to get out of your comfort zone it requires you to get out of your own old identity and that sense of security family home parenting style even all of that needs to change in line with this new persona of yours that is being revealed this will be felt very strongly for all of you but for 24 degree of libra this will be like a new set of uh, you know a new foundation of life is being set up in some ways this is also the time when we have pluto standing still pluto has been in your house of home and family since 2008 that is the long term thread that is running underneath the changes that are happening and that long term thread has been in process since 2008 Pluto have Pluto coming in our house of home family emotional foundations is a very rare transit because it has a 200 plus years of uh, of cycle so very few zodiacs have ever experienced having pluto the planet of death rebirth and regeneration and power in a house of home and family this is where the fundamentals of our life as i said who or what we call home 
is completely reborn. And sometimes it comes through a period of crisis in our emotional life where everything else that used to make us feel safe in some ways is taken away sometimes. And that's a tough part of the cycle but most of you might have already gone through that part of the cycle because Pluto has been here since 2008 now it is at 24 degree so if you have planets uh, rising sun moon before 24 degree of Libra which is if you're born before 17th of October which is majority of you you've already gone through two two and a half years when things were breaking down in your family structure or things were physically breaking down in home and family and in 2012 to the uh, 2019 when Saturn was also here you were pushed in some ways to manage and contain that restructuring and get more discipline around it uh, that might have been a tough period uh, especially when it comes to home and family for all of you because Saturn went over all the degrees from 2018 to end of 2020 for all of you so those two years might have been a period of complete restructuring of what you derive strength from. Having gone through that process, Pluto is trying to teach you how to have a different emotional pattern versus what you inherited from your childhood. So it will, it in some ways makes us face some of the patterns which we would normally not face. So the unresolved issues from way in the past, from childhood, from early upbringing, they in very different ways in our professional conflicts and in our conflicts sometimes in home or even in handling uh, you know real estate matters it comes out and open the inner struggle and the emotions which were repressed in the past because you have capricorn the zodiac sign of authority in your house of home and family so somebody in home family or a dominant parent or the way you were brought up in some ways blocks the expression of emotions either it was not convenient or it was not felt that it's the effective efficient way of living that those emotions should be shown so there has been a rigid control which you possibly has have used sometimes it's a defense mechanism to not get hurt that you might have inherited or you over years created for yourself that when you bury yourself there it, when emotions are buried like that deep feelings and show of emotions is not done in a in a normal day-to-day -day fashion we sometimes lose our essence as well it is not just the expression that is lost in some ways we have to find ourselves again this is where hidden treasures are found this is the house of hidden treasures so it's not just emotions which are buried over there there is also self-expression buried over there there is uh, hidden talents which were suppressed which comes from expression free flow of those emotions which are buried over there as well so you have been in this process of digging gold i call it since 2008 and it's a it's not as simple as i'm saying because i've experienced it with my own family here it's a inner struggle which comes to life you have not faced those things for many many years the inner world and the roots and the foundations that you have inherited or in which on which you have based your life so far on is somehow intensified and reborn and sometimes it does come unfortunately with somebody in the family not being with you or taken away in some ways from you sometimes that transit starts with a crisis it sometimes starts with the with the death process before the rebirth can come so to create that deep personal conviction and determination and confidence as well as this power of self-assertion within yourself you have gone through this journey of being pressured to stand up for yourself in my view and that happens through a process of multiple experiences that drag you and push you to the end sometimes it's like somebody being pushed to say stand up for yourself this is the time direct confrontation comes and you try to handle it in a diplomatic fashion but no it does not work you have to somehow declutter 
everything that is underneath to find this power in your core and this conviction within yourself where and this happens through powerful experiences where we are forced to stand up for ourselves and there could be a change in your family structure or power struggles in your home family with parents sometimes or sometimes unfinished business with your parents or with family needs to be addressed for us to get over certain complexes that are blocking the full expression of ourselves and you'll feel this as i said very clearly on 17th of october and 22nd of october that there are some inherited complexes that you need to get over an old old part of you that needs to get over which needs to be dramatically ended for you to move forward and go forward in your life path in your external life in your public life for full expression of you something has to die and you would in my view learn courage from it fortitude you already have gone through that process so the courage was only buried inside you to stand up and that fortitude as well as the creative potential within you that comes from deep healing of releasing something from the past this is also when physically deep healing comes to us and it comes from release it comes from psychological analysis it comes from releasing a past pattern as well as sometimes through physical methods like walking on earth and grounding ourselves the compositions that mozart made mozart had pluto in his fourth house in his natal chart the those compositions of mozart they all came from inner struggles they all came from the emotions which were buried deep and then he used them to create the creative expression that came out of you this will become the source of your strength this will become the source of inspiration of what you're about to create once pluto moves into aquarius and everything and anything that you would create when it comes to creative expression will become a source of inspiration for many you will have the potential to use the gems that you're finding right now and create them into very influential physical uh, physical art, artistic expressions so after a period of self knowledge which you might have gone through with this long term transit now we are in the last two years of this finally finding hidden treasure phase hidden treasure phase is when we have found the resources within ourselves and now we start using them in our daily life in our self expression in the conflicts that come at work or in our life path or the challenges that we face when it comes to real estate matters and you might be in the process of something when pluto is turning direct pipes plumbings everything that is below the surface whether it is of home or our own self they start coming up as we have to now use the resources we have found within ourselves to actually show our credibility outside this is where you have found yourself you have found your own personal credibility you found a deep inner conviction by redeveloping or redeeming or refinding your own inner conviction and reestablishing yourself that inner security which was based on external factors now is based on you it is it has reinvigorated through a process of crisis a strong hold within yourself so this conviction now needs to be used to take a bold call and that is also happening at the time when jupiter saturn they are going direct in your house of risk taking jupiter is actually here only for the next 2 months till december in your house of risk taking so there might be some bold calls which will affect your material wealth in my view that you need to take because pluto rules your material wealth so your this deep personal conviction as well as the reorganization of real estate or property or the family structure or even the power struggles that you are now getting the conviction to get over with and stand up for yourself it materially affects how much you earn how much is your self worth and what is the value system on which you base your life you would find this inner conviction also in play with the 20th of october full moon which is happening in your house of partnerships relationships and contracts so from 20th of october to 4th of november the attention and the light would move from focusing on this new version of you being launched to now you handling your partnerships contracts and commitments in a different direction in line with this new you who's being revealed so the 
partnerships, relationships, contracts, patterns of relating with others as well as the clients that we engage with or the commitments we make or the terms of the contracts or the legal matters which are related to contracts and partnerships and sometimes foreign residences and the agreements around that, they will come for attention from 20th of October to 4th or 5th of November for you. It's the time when we might need to close something, complete something, deliver something when it comes to our partnerships, contracts, commitments. It could be that an old contract or commitment or um, legal documentation or legal matter is coming for conclusion on 20th of October to 4th or 5th of November and we have to put a closure to it. You might be releasing something from 2015 when we had a new moon here or you might be completing something, a project that you started six months back which required you to do a lot of negotiations with the clients or work on a business partnership or a love partnership that you were working on taking it to the next phase. It is an opportunity to work with another, join forces with another and create something more than what what was before this and you'll go in with full gusto this is a very cardinal full moon when we go with a lot of vigor this could also be something which is coming to fruition something which is coming finally through after a lot of struggle in some ways and it could be an opportunity for counseling opportunity for a contract that is finally coming through or a foreign residence contract which is finally completing or it could be a commitment or a relationship personal relationship where you taken a lot of initiative you put in a lot of effort towards it and that change that you were working on is finally coming through but you'll require you would be required to put a lot of concentrated effort over the course of these two weeks in my view especially to get something through there will be important decision matters which will come so if we were sitting on the fence to do something this is a very directional force which will push us to decide something related to partnerships, foreign residents, commitments, agreements to get them through for once. And there'll be a lot of focus around that from 20th of November to early part of, no uh, sorry, 20th of October to early part of November. And that is also the period when some sort of fight can come up because this is a very charged um, a charged full moon. Pluto is making a square with this full moon. So there could be something very... Uh, you will be very driven without limits here. Yeah. This is a cardinal full moon with Pluto when we don't see any limits. We just want to go and get things done. We'll have to transcend a little bit of our limitations and do it. But to transcend those limitations, it would require you to overcome a pattern in your relationships. So it's possible that we'll have to handle our one-on-one -on -one relationships and partnerships very boldly sometimes in some cases there is a legal action which could be involved in partnerships and leader and, and uh, legal residential work there might be a legal action that might be required this is a very boldly you going in directly going in for like marriage against family going against your own roots in some ways you're moving away from a comfort zone in a partnership or in a legal contract or an agreement and for that you would be required to sort of get over your fears get over your hidden complexes get over the limitations you were taught to be conservative when it comes to home family or the concept of home and family that you were taught early on that unfinished business with a parent with your early upbringing it needs to in some ways if it is interfering with you taking a bold call with within a partnership you'll have to get over that complex and go forward pluto is about purge this will be a mega purge a mega restructuring in your foundations in your emotional life in your home in your family structure in the way you look at yourself as i said your own credibility to yourself is something that you'll have to prove to yourself. There's something like we have to prove to ourselves that I can do it. So coming out of an inertia, a fear of a security which was holding you back that I cannot handle a tough contract or I cannot handle critics or I cannot handle partnerships effectively, all of those complexes or those past notions, they are being overcome in some ways. And if the old home and the old persona and the old emotional characteristics or even the old equations and partnerships they are not letting the 
this new persona to come out, you will make changes in them. You will make changes in those. To me, with Pluto being the apex of that full moon, to me, it looks like there could be something, as I said before, also, there could be a real estate matter, which can be under dispute, which could be under reconsideration, or there could be home family dynamics, especially at play with this, which we'll have to deal with head on instead of ignoring. We cannot put this away. This is a cardinal full moon. You cannot put the fight or the restructuring or sometimes the pain that comes with trying to meet challenges head on that comes with it. But what is lying on the other side is a very, very deep conviction in yourself, as well as in my view, some amount of lucrative real estate or investment opportunity that might come through. Setting these terms right, setting the right relationships, setting the right tone in relationships, is critical for your success over 2022 and 2023. On 19th of November, we're going to have the full first eclipse in your house of joint partnerships. When it's possible that you might be going and joined in a uh, joining your talents as well as your uh, you know your uh, resources, financial resources with a partner, going through a bold phase, which requires you to detox and weed an old phase out of your life. Again, those both the eclipse of 19th of November and this full moon of 20th of, Octo uh, 20th of October is happening around 27 degree of Libra. So if your planet's around 27 degree of Libra, two or three, three degrees before and after, which is the, you know, the last deacon 20s, 20 degrees um, of Libra, they will feel this very, very strongly. It will have a longer than two week impact on their life, especially if you are born around 20th of October or if your planet's around 27 degree, you'll find that this has a longer term implication in terms of how, what kind of relationships you are in, what kind of foreign residence you're going for, what kind of legal matters, contracts you're engaged in. And some of those will be coming head on uh, for you, for you to deal with. You'll have there's something will come to head in those for you to deal with and then the terms related to those contracts those relationships those partnerships those foreign residences will come for the period of back and forth in my view with the eclipse of 19th of november which will continue to influence us till january and this period of december is when your ruler Venus is retrograde in your house of home and family. So in my view, some fin something financial in home and family looks like it's coming up or at least your feelings about your relationships and partnerships will go through a very long, this is all the way till January 2022 when we are going through some amount of back and forth in that. And it's a very long period to have critical access activated, which means that there might be some important decisions you might be on the threshold to make as a result of that. So that's the long term thread and the short term um, full moon, new moon themes that you're dealing with. One last thing I wanted to speak to you about is a very positive aspect, which is finally, finally, Jupiter, the planet of expansion is going direct in your house of self expression, Jupiter, the planet of expansion for the first time since 2009 is in your house of self expression in 2021. And as I spoke about it in December 2020, it is the source of your next 20 years of growth because Saturn and Jupiter came together in December in a very rare transit, kickstarting a very different way that gains will be had in your life over the course of next 20 years. And creativity, love, children, passion, self-expression will become and bold calls, risk-taking in some ways will become the source of your growth over the course of next 20 years. We spoke about specific professions, specific uh, outlets of that in December. I'll link the video below if you'd like to take a look at that. But creatively, as well as in risk taking, investments risk especially, if there were some matters of support related to creativity, children, um, as well as self-expression, love, um, giving birth to something that you are on the verge of where you're taking a risk on yourself and going ahead with it. If they were stuck for the last four or five months because Jupiter was retrograde since about 20th of June. So something was right on the verge of being given to you in June or something you thought will quickly move forward or you had an ideation of something to move forward on which could be a source of self-expression, creativity, investment risk, or a business venture, 
or a marriage or a love you're basically taking a risk on your passions with this that was about to come through in june and the support of that was pulled back for the last couple of months to be sure whether the returns are right on the investment you're making whether the risk return equation is right in that investment or not now is the time when we move forward on those choices whether it is a creative choice opportunity to work in a creative group or an investment opportunity or a creative project or restructuring in some ways of your equation with your child or the question of whether to have a child or not or how many children to have it's something related to your children or their creativity their freedom their sense of expression uh, how they share their gifts so this is all now finally opening up in positive aspect with you at 22 degree aspecting especially 22 degree of libra which is around 15th of october born this is a fabulous transit this is one of the very very positive positions for jupiter to be in the next two months as jupiter is here till december take advantage of this whether it is in expanding your self expression standing up for yourself taking certain bold calls enjoying your children sharing your gifts gifts or social relationships love affairs uh, many 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 love affairs this is where many happens and in the last 4 or 5 months those many need to be sorted out and that might be the process that you were in this is being in love in some ways with yourself this is where our self love is enhanced and having an ongoing dialogue with your child or the child within is something that happens when jupiter is here we become more knowledgeable about what we love and who we love and how we want to love and now it's the time to take risk on that someone or something that you have realized that you love and have some fun with it have some pleasure with it over the course of next couple of months how we deal with children how we deal with love affairs how we take risk in investments how we pursue our creative passions all of that goes through a growth period with this kind of transit so we are in the last leg of this transit saturn is also here which makes our self expression more structured in some ways it just doesn't want us to have fun and get more self esteem for nothing it wants us to create something out of it like a solid business or a creative passion this is where passions become business in some ways or the children and the pride that we have in our children becomes more long term by setting up the right equation with them and nothing is frivolous when it is pursued here uh, when saturn is here which means that if you're taking a business risk you might have set the risk parameters over the course of last couple of months we learn to put our heart into what we do with saturn here creatively in love in children with the right kind of rule book so you were writing that rule book in some ways of risk taking over the course of last couple of months and now that rule book needs to be changed where we use what we have learned either to develop our skill set if it is a creative project or a business venture that you're launching or if there's an investment and you have done the evaluation and in some ways the background of it now is the time to go live in some ways when saturn is here we create or give birth to our legacy we give birth to something that is going to last beyond ourselves and saturn is here till march of 2023 it is only in the early degrees right now so only the early degrees have truly given the stability to the self expression while jupiter expands saturn structures our self expression while jupiter gives us the confidence to speak up and to self express and to stand up for ourselves saturn says let's put this to use let's put this into creating a, a product of self expression let's use all of that emotional expression and make it into a realistic product so as to speak so respecting what you have learned so far respecting what you're passionate about and then not letting it go to waste is what saturn's purpose is saturn makes sure that if there's a hobby or a talent or a skill set that you've been gifted with you are making use of that so the jewels that you find and the Uh, this whole journey you have been on since 2008 whatever resources you have found yourself it makes sure that they don't go to waste in some ways but being saturn over here makes us a little bit less playful uh, because 
it's like you got to make something out of everything you have fun with. So if if you have a hobby, can it become a profession? You have a child, you're having fun with a child. Is your is the way you are with your child? Is that bringing the best out of them? So the creative endeavors they get serious with Saturn here, and that might have already happened for early degree of Libra, which is around September born Libra, because it's playing around six or seven degree of Libra right now, which is around thirtieth of September born. We learn to have a realistic approach to risk taking here. So it's it's when the hobbies become gainful. it's when creative endeavors get serious so while jupiter makes us aware of what what's unique about us saturn essentially gives stability to that self expression and it will push you till 2023 to create your legacy and let yourself be seen let yourself be seen learning to put your heart into what you do creatively in love and children as well as take some calculated risk which you might be on the verge of taking and now that the last few months of restructuring this whole thing behind the scene whether it is a creative venture or a business venture or an investment or the rule book when it comes to children or whether you want to have children or not and perfecting the hobbies in some ways has happened over the course of last couple of months now you go live with that new structure but at the same time the pressure to create that legacy the pressure to create that business venture that investment that creative potential which you have found within yourself and not wasting it to create your legacy whether it is extension of yourself in form of your children or a creative venture or a business venture or an investment that work of passion now the pressure to deliver that will become high especially for early degree of libra who are at the phase of getting over the saturn transit to some extent which is september born uh, libra sun or around 6 or 7 degree of libra rising sun or moon so that's going to play out in my view around 30th of october and 10th of november when we'll find that somehow creating sometimes lucrative uh, opportunities out of those passions can we create a business structure around it is the returns enough from the risk you're taking because saturn wants your jupiter wants you to take all the risk as i said last two months i got to take some risk in life saturn wants to make sure that the returns from that risk are corroborative or not so you'll find that around 30th of october as well as on 10th of november something related to the returns of the risk you're taking saturn will push you to make sure that they are corroborative or not as you might be entering into a new phase of your resources or a change in your resources as a result of that risk taking so it wants to be sure and it also wants to be sure that your ego is not compromised or your self interest is not compromised when it comes to you giving birth to your legacy or involving your children or if you are entering into long term love with somebody there's a discipline of you taken care of as well there's a responsibility in what you're creating and responsibility in the returns you're getting out of it so the structure is being given to tangible risk that you're taking responsible play in some ways will be asked to do and self discipline will be required whether it is in sports love hobby passion risk taking children setting the right boundaries in love in physical development of our children as well as falling in love with yourself and taking care of yourself in the process as you love the others in your life as you share your vision with your loved ones as you share yourself with by creating an extension of yourself which will become your legacy and your source of growth over the course of next 20 years i'll leave that video below if you want to find out further because that is the future pluto in your home family emotional foundations is the past that we're getting over over the course of next 2 years and saturn jupiter opening up your risk appetite in life is your future it's your next phase of growth and pluto will also come there in 2024 so the conviction in the jewels you're finding or the creative ventures you're creating or the investment you're creating or the children that you are working hard on that conviction will start coming uh, after 2024 in my view with pluto also moving over there but before that we have to create the foundation of that legacy which is what you'll do all the way till march of 2023 so that's what i have for you libra hope this was helpful i'll see you in the next reading now thank you